soon and we are back with a second speed build for single mother now guys i know how i said i was gonna do four but I, by the time this video gets uploaded the house would have been completed i just i just didn't want to have to do another kitchen build because i did that for the last one and i didn't want it to be repetitive so the only really builds i could do was the bedroom and the living room because i already did the office so if you don't know i used the same office i did in the previous build um, my youtuber office if you haven't already make sure you go check it out it should be in the little i card if it's there um if it's not there then i feel kind of stupid but yeah um that if you want to check it out because i've used that same office because it was just cute and i didn't want to have to you know remake a whole office because that one was cute but um yeah this what this speed build is going to be a bit different because i'm going to try to do a voiceover that's if my mic doesn't you know start fucking up here but i'm going to start doing a voiceover and also like i said this new copper law is not catching me out so if you are under the age of 16 there's going to be a lot of effing blinding just content that isn't made for people under the age of 16 so y'all might have to click off the video but if you not have if you not may not be 16 but have the ears of a 16 year old then you know you can stay for a bit they don't need to know but anyways let's get on into the speed build so basically guys i just want to like talk to you lot you know like just talk like what's been going on how's life like how's it treating you 2020 <laughs> um but yeah i just want to talk um i don't usually do this i don't really talk much about like my personal life unless it's to do with school or like why i'm not uploaded but even then i don't really go into detail like the most that you don't know about me is that one i'm 17 and i live in london and that uh, i speed builds and sims 4 let's plays that's all you probably know about me i'm that my name's z but that's about it like you guys don't know a lot you lot don't even know what my face looks like i'm so sorry i'm laughing so much because i put on my twitter that's why you lot should follow me i really 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 want to do a face reveal but i feel like if i was to do a face reveal in the future i probably wouldn't do it on my youtube i'll probably either upload it on my instagram or my twitter and also disclaimer if i'm like lisping a lot or whatever my wisdom tooth is coming through and it feels so fucking feels so fucking weird like it's like i'm biting down on my cheek if you get what i mean so it's just so weird and it's just making me talk weird like even when i eat it's weird but yeah so that's basically what i just want to talk about. i just want you lot to get to know me more better that's why i've been asking for q and a's q and a guys like if you have any questions you want to ask me please comment them down below better still i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna do a q and a session on my next video will be a q and a hopefully my next video will be a q and a so follow me on my twitter and i should have a post on there saying q and a and ask me any questions if you don't are interested so go ahead and do that and also i will give you a nice little shout out if you want one so make sure you don't go over and follow me on my twitter and put down your questions and i will answer them in my next video so yeah so this is kennedy's bedroom um i went for like the kind of like plain white bougie cheek type of bedroom you know fashion and all of that um it's cute it's cute or whatever i didn't want to go too much in because ah uh, no nah, i don't want to spoil the storyline for you so let me not say anything but yeah so this is the bedroom it has a ensuite bathroom um and yeah it's so cute You'll see at the end all the photo well it's not even a photo it's kind of like a video actually but it's dope it's dope so i hope you all enjoy that um also like i said i want you not to i keep saying i want you not to get to know me and i just don't say anything because i'm shy like it doesn't seem like i'm shy but i'm just shy like i don't know like <laughs> i don't know what to say but that's why i answer you like q and a's because like so i then know what to talk about what you don't want to know about me um so yeah i'm just gonna keep reminding you follow me on my twitter and put down some questions down below but besides that um i was gonna talk i don't really know what to talk about i want to tell a story but i don't know what story to tell so so 
I want to make this like, it's not going to be deep, I don't want to make it too emotional or whatever but it's just something that I just want to talk to you guys about because I know there's people out there who bad things happen to you or someone it's when someone does something bad to you and you instantly just want to get revenge like you just want to get them back but i feel like that's the wrong way to go about it i feel like you should sit because i believe in karma like i don't like, i just believe like in that aspect of if you do something good you get something good back and if you do something bad you get something bad back it may not happen right away however it will happen and i'll give you a prime example or something that's happened recently so at college i do a performing art i do one of my courses is a performing arts course and there was a little situation that happened and now um a certain person in that course decided to say a few things about me or whatever and it made my whole performing arts basically my whole performing arts my whole performing arts class hates me bar one person because she's kind of like just a chill person in it so she don't really care um so every time something bad would happen our teacher would say basically our teacher said the performance was shit and our performance was like in two days um and people would obviously take that out on me and just say it's my fault this than the other bearing in mind it's a group performance but you are marked individually so i just ignored it like i was harassed for a good month guys it was so much i had to take the small little indirects the small little mutter whatever and literally it was just so much to take but i took it because it's not the first time this girl has done something like that to me um so it comes to performance and even just before the performance someone makes another sly remark towards me and i just thought you know what fuck y'all i do not give two shits because without me into performance you ain't gonna have nobody to perform darling so we do the performance or whatever and like i said it's marked individually miss says it's good we come back you know after the winter break or whatever and she tells us that out of the seven people in our class only three passed and one of those people was me and two other people in my class because people were so focused on putting their anger and just trying to make me react bearing in mind i did not react in any way i ignored it just focusing their energy towards me they forgot that you need to focus your energy on yourself and focus on your performance but they forgot that so the only people that passed was me and two other people and everyone else failed and they can't even blame me because i fucking passed so all i'm trying to say is just don't take revenge out of people people will hurt you in so many ways but just sit there and watch the world take its course because the same way i got harassed for two months and my teacher just st stood there and acted like she couldn't do anything it's the same way i had to take that for two months wait another month for them to then be told that they failed the course and have to redo the whole course and in uk well in my school if you don't if you don't pass three subjects you get kicked out and that is it for you so let i'm not gonna sit here and grin because it is sad in a sense but also people will then learn don't just follow somebody because they tell you something think carefully and revenge is never the answer no matter how pissed you are but just think about it like that um i know this is kind of like deep and emotional and i don't really do shit like this but thank you lot for watching and that is it for me and i am out